Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Pretty by Nisha. My name is Nisha and it has been a hot minute since I have uploaded a YouTube video. I haven't filmed a YouTube video since my nursery tour, which was probably about nine months ago before I even gave birth in October. Life has been so busy taking care of my son and you know, YouTube just kind of slipped away from me. I'm lucky if I find time to create a makeup look. And sometimes I just feel like my creativity is like stuck and trapped. And there's so many things I want to create, but I don't have enough time in a day, a week, a month to be able to create everything that I want to create. Um, but now that my son's getting a little bit older, napping better, and you know, we're coming to a time where he's a little bit more independent. I can actually start doing a little bit more filming again. And today, I actually wanted to film a video about uh, my Dyson hair dryer. So, my husband is amazing, and for Mother's Day, got me the Mother's Day bundle. It came with a comb as well as a round brush. Personally, I don't really use them that much, um, but it was a little bonus, so you know. Might as well get the free stuff, basically, because the price of the actual hair dryer didn't change. This is $4.99 Canadian. I'm going to say that if you do want the Dyson hair dryer, any Dyson products, wait for Sephora to have a sale. I don't believe Dyson actually has any sales. If they do, awesome. But if you want to buy on Sephora, um, wait for them to have a sale because when they did have a sale, it was $4.99. But then with the, if you have 20%, if you're a Rouge member, it actually works out to be $100 off. I mean, it's still $3.99, which is kind of pricey, but at least you can save a little bit of money if you are wanting to make a little bit of investment for your hair. I use this to blow dry and straighten. And in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you exactly how I do that. I'm also going to be sharing a little bit of the products I've been using with my hair because my hair what well it's still dry but the Dyson air dryer and the products I've been using have been helping a lot in terms of that issue I'm having with my hair so if you want to see how I style my hair and see the Dyson hair dryer in action then continue to watch and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Okay, so first I towel dry my hair. I usually leave my hair in a towel anywhere from like an hour or longer just because I have to find the right time to actually do my hair because I'm very busy. Usually I try to wash my hair during the day so I have some more time um, to actually let it air dry and I'm not going to bed super late. Um, but here is my towel dried hair and I'm going to throw some products in before I actually brush it. I've just recently started using Moroccan oil. I actually really like it. It's the first oil that I've used that actually has really helped my hair um, look shiny and healthy. I've used other oils and they just don't really do it for me. Like once I blow dry my hair, it's still very, very dry. Even if I add more oil in, it's still just not what I want it to look like. So this one is the only one that's actually been helping and working. It has really, really good reviews on Sephora and other websites. Um, so I decided to buy the small size and so far I am loving it. So once I run out of this, I think I'm going to buy the full size of it. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm just going to put a little, oh, that wasn't a little, but it's fine. I just kind of like brush it with my fingers through my hair. Like already my hair feels better than it did when I took it out of the towel. And it smells good. I really like the smell of this one. And I've been using the Moroccan Oil um, Repair Shampoo and Conditioner and their Ultra, I think, ultra Hydrating Mask um, on my hair the last couple washes here. And it's amazing. It has really honestly made such a big difference in how my hair is. I haven't gotten a haircut yet, so I'm hoping that will also help my hair a little bit. It needs to be cut and trimmed at the ends. Um, but in the meantime, to get some shine back into it and to make it look like it is somewhat healthy, the Moroccan Oil products have actually helped a lot. 
Um, and then I'm going to use the Perfect Defense spray here. I'm going to use this spray to make sure I have a protectant in my hair. And now I will run a brush through it. Okay, so now let's get into actually styling. So my hair is still a little wet, so I'm going to take the Dyson hair dryer. And I'm going to use it without a add-on right now, or extension, I don't know what it's called, but um, and then I'm just going to quickly blow dry through um, just to give it a little bit more dry, just to make it a little bit more dry so it's a little bit easier to style with the Dyson Air Dryer. So currently it tells you the settings, so I have it on one. Um, well, when I blow dry my actual hair just like I'm doing right now, I will actually put the power onto two and I will leave I will also put the heat onto two as well I just like it like that because I don't want too much heat while I'm actually just quickly giving it a little bit of a dry um, I find if I use three and three it makes it too dry so I've been kind of playing around with the settings with the last few weeks finding out what works for me the best and that has worked the most in terms of just drying it a little bit before I actually style it Okay, and then, so, it's a little bit drier now. And I'm not going to brush it again just because I don't feel like I need to. And I use this extension. I don't know which one it's called, but it's the really thin one. This one I use for straightening. It's a lot easier to use it to straighten my hair. Um, and then I also use a round brush so I can really get in there. And the settings I use, so I put this, I put the heat on to number three, and then I put the power onto one. And I found that this was the easiest way to actually get it to straighten my hair without blowing it all over the place. And I do my hair in layers. So this is just the first layer. So relatively easy to just straighten through. It's nice because it's a one time thing. Like my hair is so thick that when I have to blow dry and straighten and everything, it takes forever for me to style my hair. I'm looking at 45 minutes to an hour. With just using the Dyson, it actually cuts my time down. I would say probably anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. So definitely gives me more time throughout the day. Plus my hair is styled, we're good to go. And it's actually shinier and just feels overall better than it would if I had to blow dry and then straighten. Um, so, so far, that's pretty freaking awesome.
okay guys, what do you think? Do you think it's worth it? Honestly, I really love my Dyson air dryer. It's really great. It's honestly saved me time. It's made my hair so much like fluffier, softer, everything. It's just, it's great. I love all the settings. I love that you can choose from three different options of heat and three different three different options of power. It does have a cooling option. Personally, I don't really use it that much. Um, it's so lightweight and it's easy to maneuver around. Like as you could see in the video when I was needing to get into the back there, it was so easy. It doesn't hurt your wrists and I have so much hair. So when it takes a long time for me to blow dry and maneuver my hair dryer around, my wrist hurts, my shoulder hurts, everything. But with the Dyson air dryer, my wrist and my arm and everything just like doesn't hurt at all i'm not tired it doesn't feel like it's putting any strain um so if you're a hairdresser or you do hair often in terms of your hair or someone else's this is really really great because it will help in the long run um especially when it comes to those wrists because of that could be painful over time. Um, it's definitely an investment it is very expensive um but when you look at overall the benefits of it as well as you really do get what you pay for it is to me personally very worth it i really love my hair dryer i wouldn't go back at all it's really made such a difference and then also just switching up my hair products has made a difference as well um but i don't know guys do you think it's worth it I'm going to continue to live by my Dyson hair dryer and I'm actually kind of curious about the Dyson air wrap now. I'm curious how well that works. I don't think I would want the hair straightener. I don't really feel like I need one because the hair dryer does all of that for me. Um, but when it comes to curling my hair, I've seen some pretty cool reviews about the air wrap and I'm actually very curious about that. I may consider it when Sephora has another sale. Um, so there you have it guys there's how i style my hair with my dyson hair dryer that i'm absolutely loving so much my hair look at it it's like flowy shiny woo and it saves me time always a good thing so if you like this video don't forget to give it a like as well as don't forget to subscribe to my channel and maybe turn on that notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video hopefully I'll be uploading a little bit more these days and thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed bye for now